Hey guys, it's your girl Miss Mello and I am here with a story time. This story time, and let me just sit up more like this. I'm gonna a little bit more. This story time is pretty much um about when I first met my common law husband that is. Well, I would probably say we met maybe like in the late 90s. Met in like the late 90s. And we talked on the phone for maybe like a year. Maybe six months. Eh, about six months to a year. I will say about six months to a year. And, you know, we didn't talk like every day on the phone. Because, you know, I was, you know, booked and busy. No, I'm just joking. You know, I was working. So, you know, this is when I was working tough, tough. And so, you know, we talk, you know, we just, just talk and, you know, just conversate, you know, you, you know, sometimes you, you get to talk to some, you know, talk to a person and, you know, you, you just talk about a lot of different things and stuff. So, you know, every time we talk, you know, we would always talk about a lot of different things, right? Well, sometimes you wish, mm, maybe I should have just kept on walking like I started to do. But anyway... Um, I end up asking him where, like, what air, where do you stay? You know what I'm saying? And we never asked this question, you know, because I was just pretty much, you know, you had sometimes you just want to conversate. You just want to conversate, talk to people. And pretty much that's what I would call the party line for is to conversate and talk to people. You know, you know how you want to talk to people you know, and you don't want nothing serious. You don't even want to meet them. But, you know, sometimes it's cool to just conversate over the phone, you know, especially before you meet the person anyway. And so pretty much that's what, you know, what I did. I chose to just talk on the phone. But then one day I asked, I said, what area do you live in? Like, you live on the east side, west side, north, south, you know, suburban. Like, what area do you live in? When he told me the area, I was shocked, okay? He stayed on my brother's block. On my brother's block. Like, on my brother's block. It is so crazy, right? So, um, I was like, oh, shit. Which... We stayed around a corner, not too far from my brother. So, three minutes, you know, one minute in the car probably, three minutes walking, two minutes, whatever, you know. And, um, you know, we decided to meet. We decided to meet one day. So because we stayed so close, um, you know, it was a couple of restaurants, you know, where, you know, where where we at, you know, where, where we was at. It was a couple of restaurants. So I was like, okay, well, boom, you know, since Taco Bell right there, you know, and then I was going to this, to this beer and wine store, you know, so I said, okay, well, we can meet at, um, at Taco Bell. So he was like, okay, what you gonna have on? I'm like, okay, well, what, what you go wear? You know, so he told me what he was gonna wear. And I told him something totally different. Oh, uh, what I, I told him I was going to wear something, but I didn't exactly wear what I said I was going to wear. I didn't tell him what I actually had on. So, you know, it's right around the corner. I'm walking, I'm walking up the street or whatever. And I see this dude and I look and I'm like, oh, he got me fucked up. So I'm walking. So he looked, he looked as I'm walking, because I passed up. We we literally passed. We literally passed. So I'm like, oh no. Nah, I don't. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. So I kept going and went to the um to three B's. Bear wine. So I, I kept going. I went straight to three B's. So as I as I'm coming back and I looked and I'm like, oh Lord. And he looked and he said something. And I'm like, what? And you know the crazy thing about it, you know, like if when you've been talking to somebody, you know that person's voice. 
you know, over the phone or whatever. And so I'm like, what? You know, you try to change your voice or whatever, but I ain't do that, you know, not thinking. So I'm like, what? And he was like, Melody. And I was like, yeah. And who is you? You know, trying to play that shit off. Like, because I really don't want to talk to him because he was like kind of ill, you know, and still ill. So, um, anyway, we end up going to Taco Bell's, you know, sitting out talking, you know, grab the look. I'm not even a taco fan. I don't even care for fast food restaurants, you know, and stuff like that. But anyway, we go in there and sit down and we talk or whatever. So, you know, we just talking and stuff. And, you know, prior meeting him. He was, you know, a okay dude over the phone. I remind you, I said we talked for like a year, maybe six months to a year. So he seemed like he was okay or whatever. So I'm like, okay, boom. I'm like, all right, boom, fuck it. You know, let, let's go sit here and talk or whatever. You know, he can be a, a cool friend or whatever. But, you know, I was a drinker. Smoke weed. Drink liquor cigarettes, you know, and stuff like that. I think he was, I think he only like smoked like, um, black and miles or something like that. But, um, you know, and I was like, well, he can't be my weed buddy. Cause he don't even smoke weed. You know what I'm saying? Like, why well, I want to talk to him? Like, but you know, we end up, you know, just being cool friends and stuff. Right. So, um, he ended up moving out of town. He ended up moving out of town. And I'm trying I'm gonna try to make this as short as possible. But we've been together for a long ass time. We've been knowing each other for over 20 years plus. You know what I'm saying? But we've been together for 10 years. You know, um, maybe 11. Hmm. Give or take, you know. So anyway, so I... um. So, you know, you know, we'll talk, you know, and stuff like that. And he he moved out of town. Um, he went to California for a while or whatever. So, you know, I, me growing up, I always had male friends. You know, had a couple of female friends, but I always had male friends. Like, like, I love dudes. <laughs> Simple as that. So, I always had male friends. And plus, you know, male friends ain't catty. You know, they probably is nowadays. But back in my day, them motherfuckers were catty. You know, real men. Real men. So, anyway. So, yeah. So, you know. You know, I will call him, right? I will call him every so often and be like, hey, how you doing? You know, you know sometimes, you know, like you call your friends if you haven't talked to, talk to them in a minute. Just to see how they's doing. You know, and stuff. So, I'm, I'm that that child you know call him see how he doing and stuff right and um you know we'll you know talk you know and stuff like that so he'll be like i'm gonna call you back you know and stuff now sometimes he'll call me back sometimes he wouldn't but i remember i was like okay i'm gonna call him you know and stuff and sometimes when you know you don't want to call a person you know or you don't want to be rude to a person or whatever it may be so I said, okay, um, I'm not going to call him anymore, right? I had made my man up not to call him no more. So one day, I was just, I was watching something on TV, and I'm like, damn, that's old boy number. But the number wasn't his, but it damn near looked like his number. And I was like, damn. And when I seen that number, I said, let me call this nigga, see how he doing, right? Not knowing that he was back in Michigan. So he back in Michigan, right? So I called him and he was like, I'm going to call you back. He said he was doing something, whatever he was doing. He said, I'm going to call you back. I said, okay. So I was like, look, if this nigga don't call me back, I'm not going to call his ugly ass back. You know what I'm saying? So um, he called me back. The first thing he said to me is when, is, is when he called me back is, not how you doing, how you been, like none of those things. The first thing he did was said. Why you ain't never come over my house? Nigga, what is you talking about? So I'm like, uh, I don't know where you stay. And so the first thing I said, uh, you know, when he said, why you never came over? The first thing I said was, oh, you and your girl must have broke up. Yeah, he was like, nah, 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 you know, and stuff like that. 
Um, when I tell you, I have one, he's a Gemini. So I don't think I never, no, 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 I never, I never dealt with a Gemini, you know, never dealt with a Gemini before or whatever. So he's a Gemini. And so, you know, we're friends. So he was like, oh, you should come over, you know, and such and such and such and such. So I'm like, um, okay. So one day I end up going over there. So we chilling, you know, and stuff like that. You know, just chilling and stuff. And so I'm like, okay, well, I'm about to go home now. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's time me to go. He was like, oh, no, you can, you can stay tonight. You know, like, uh, no. So I left. I went home. So then he called me. He wanted me to come back maybe a couple of days later. No, he called me the next day, actually, asking me to come back. And I was like, no. So I stayed, like, deep west, seven mile. You know what I'm saying? Seven, eight mile. You know, damn near nine mile. You know, well, eight, eight, nine, whatever. You know, and stuff. So I was like, nah, you know, like, that's a stretch. You know, like, coming from there for that. And I was on the bus. Like, no, uh-uh. I'm good. So, I was like, nah, dude, uh-uh. So, he begged and begged and begged. I'm going to do a part two to this because this is going to be very long. So, you know, he begged me to come. And I was like, uh, so I ended up going, going back over there. Prior to me being over there for a couple of days, and I was like, okay, I'm about to go home. I need to go wash me some clothes. Or, oh, you can bring your clothes over here? You can wash your clothes. I'm like, no, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? But... Yeah, no, you can, you can, you can wash your dryer. I'm like, okay, I'm good, you know, and stuff. So I end up going, I end up going, um, you know, I end up going back over there. So I goes back over there, whatever. Pretty much like, oh, you can stay here with me. I'm like, what is wrong with this dude? You know, at this point, I'm thinking like, something, something. Like, what's wrong? Like, is he okay? Like, what? Something, something ain't right, you know? And stuff like that. Now, although, you know, we've we been knowing each other, you know, for a long time. But you ever um, get into a relationship without knowing that you in a relationship? That's how it went down. He ain't ever asked me, you know, to to get it you know to be in an exclusive relationship or not like that we just end up being in the damn relationship like what the fuck you know so we in this relationship right now when i tell you ah uh, excuse me so, when I tell you, this dude was like, I don't know, he pretty much, you like a little crab baby or some shit. Oh, you go stay, you go stay, you go stay. So, I'm like, all right, whatever, fine. Now, me and, I, me and my cousin, we stayed together. Now, my cousin, he was a gambler. He loved to gamble before he paid bills. So, I'm like, okay, well... I'm going to go over there, you know, and chill or whatever with do see how how this shit go turn out. End up meeting a girl to stay upstairs, like, stay in, like, the department duplex. She stayed above him. End up meeting her. Well, she ended up telling me one day that um the reason why his people don't like me is because... He told them that I that he rescued me from an abandoned building. I'm like, what? I'm like, wow. First time I knew he was a liar. I was like, ooh, that's a, like that's a hell of a lie to tell people. You know what I'm saying? Like that's a straight up hell of a lie to tell people, right? And I'm like, wow. So he was like, uh, you know, like pretty much like, you know, yeah, you know, I met it from a band, you know, met it from a abandoned building or whatever. I'm like, abandoned building? Like what type of, 
So, you know, I'm like, okay. And I never said anything. I didn't, I didn't confront him about this shit or anything. I, I did. I really didn't. I should have. But I didn't. I didn't say anything. I think pretty much, you know, the type of person I am, I just wanted to see, okay, I want to know what's going to come next. Like, like I, I got to see, you know, and stuff. So, um, anyway. Um... The girl that stayed upstairs, you know, we was talking and she was like, you know, she ended up taking me to my house to go get my clothes. You know, not all my clothes. I just went to go get some of my clothes. She ended up taking me to my house to get my clothes. And so she was like, oh, girl, you live here. And I was like, yeah. And she was like, oh, she was like, oh, pretty much do without cold, you know, and stuff like that. I'm like. Oh, okay, okay, you know and stuff. And um went back to the house or whatever. And like I guess and, and to that to this day, um I his people really don't like me or whatever. You know what? I said I was gonna do a part two, but I think I'm just go keep this in one video. So anyway, you know, years go by, years go by, years go by, right? So um, years go by. Now, like, we've been together for a long time. Too long to be exact. Too damn long. You know what I'm saying? Too long, but, hey, we've been together for a long time. You know how sometimes when you fed up, enough is enough? I'm at that point. And I say this to him all the time, you know, and I be like, nigga, when I leave your ass, da da this, da da that, right? He be like, where you going, nigga? I'll go to a shelter. When I leave your ass, he be like, you ain't gonna leave me, you ain't gonna leave me, and stuff like that. But, you know, a liar, like Gemini, he's a liar. And so I was like, wow, you know, like this dude, you know, and stuff like first you tell, you, you know, you tell your people that, um, you tell your people, you got me from an, you found me from a abandoned building. First, I would have been questioned like what abandoned building you found somebody from. Then you tell the neighbor I had no clothes. So I was wondering why this girl was like, oh, I got some clothes for you. I'm like. I'm like, oh, I'm good, I'm good, you know. She was like, no, you know, you know, just some stuff, you know. I'm like, I'm good. So I'm like, okay, you know, whatever, okay, you know, and stuff. So, you know, but, but when she took me to go pick up 